Carbohydrates are polymers of saccharides. Saccharides are just sugars. Next time you eat bread, try this out. You can chew the bread in your mouth for a while, but don't swallow. And after a while, it starts to taste sweet. That's because the saliva in your mouth is breaking the carbohydrates back down into the sugars they were made from. It's really easy to recognize carbohydrates because they're only made of carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen. You just need to recognize the carbon backbone and the OH and H groups bonded to it. So a carbohydrate made of one saccharide is called a monosaccharide. As we talked about, mono equals one. So it's really easy to guess what a carbohydrate with two saccharides is called. Disaccharide, di for two. A carbohydrate with more than two saccharides would be called a polysaccharide, poly for many. We've talked about some of these prefixes before, and again, it's really important to remember them because they appear a lot in bio. So a monosaccharide is really easy to recognize in written form if you remember that they always have a 1 to 2 to 1 ratio between carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So for example, glucose is C6H12O6, 6 to 12 to 6, 1 to 2 to 1. Now, although disaccharides and polysaccharides do not have that same ratio, it's really easy to spot them anyway because you just have to look out for C's, H's, and O's. The two most important monosaccharides are glucose and fructose, which are shown here. They're both written out as C6H12O6, but their difference is in their structures. So you see they're lined up together next to each other right here. Glucose has a double bonded oxygen on the top, right there, but fructose has a double bonded, double bonded oxygen, one from the top, and that's the only difference between those two structures, but it makes all the difference between the monosaccharides. So both glucose and fructose can also be represented in a ring structure, but it's more important to know the glucose ring structure, so here it is shown. Sometimes the CH2OH group is written out, so don't let that ca catch you off guard. Like proteins, glucose can, or monosaccharides rather, will bond together in chains through dehydration synthesis. So again, to review, that is the loss of a water molecule. So for example, with these two glucose molecules, one will donate a hydrogen atom, and one will donate an oxygen and hydrogen atom. And together, these three atoms combine to form our well-known H2O water molecule. After the water is lost, the open oxygen molecule will bond with this carbon molecule, and it will form a disaccharide. So if you were to put many, many saccharides together, it would become a polysaccharide chain. Now that you are armed with the basics, you can check out the video on important carbohydrates for a little more.